This is a very special little computer that I thought I would show um, my viewers on YouTube. You. I don't think there are any other videos on the internet of a VT78 actually booting. Um, I didn't see any, at least. And so uh, this is my VT78 that I've been gradually restoring. And we're at a point where it does work. Um, it's got a few minor you know, maintenance things that I need to do for it, but overall it seems to be in good working order. So I thought I'd boot it up and show you what uh, life was like um, on a mini computer uh, in the night in mid to late 1970s. This was introduced in, uh, if I recall correctly, I think it was 76 um, and sold through to the early 1980s. Um, and it would have been really, you know, kind of used primarily in a business, small small to medium-sized business or classroom um, setting uh, as a uh, word processor, primarily. Um, but what we'll show you today is uh, some games. So, go ahead and get it up, power it on. There's a power switch right here. And we'll wait for something to come up on the display. Sometimes this happens actually with a system. Video memory needs to be kind of reset, so we'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Just needs to, there you are. So it's running its self-test. And once it passes, we'll be at a cursor. And then what we do is we reset the machine. There's a, there's a button here on the side. You press the reset button. And you insert the disk and close it. There we are. We have a prompt. So I just pressed, I just typed a directory, or dir for directory. And then we've got a directory of different things that are on this disk. This has some lovely games and utilities on it. We're gonna go ahead and run so R, in this case ST, which is the menu for the games. Got a little menu for games. And uh, what we'll do is let's try Amurabi. These are all text based games since uh, the VT78 um, is basically a terminal. Yeah, we'll look at some instructions. You are Hammurabi, king of a poor country with just a thousand acres of fertile land, but you can grow prosperous by the proper tending of your fields. Right. How many acres do you wish to buy? Um, let's see, uh, I don't know, 30? Uh, we'll use uh, two. We'll plant in, uh, Yeah. So basically it's a math game, as you can see. Uh, not super exciting. We can get out of here with a control C. And look at our other games. The game I think most of you will be more familiar with is uh, the uh, The game most of you would be familiar with, if you, maybe as a kid, you played on one of these machines, it's probably gonna be Star War. Um, which sometimes gets called Space War, which is really confusing because there was another very famous game issued on deck computers called Space War. But this one is actually what we call Star Trek or Space War. And it's essentially a, you know, a Star Trek game. Print the instructions to the screen. This tells you how to play the game, basically. Now, some of you will remember this game. You're looking for Klingons. Oh, 
hunting. And you get a bunch of different commands you can use to go hunting for Klingons. There's a phaser, you can jump. status report and different things like damage. I think it's okay because the game, let's see if it does it. Yeah, there you are. Look at that. Look at our little beautiful Enterprise, which is very slowly moving across the screen. See, the thing is, th there are no true graphics on the uh, VT-78. Um, this is just a terminal, it's basically just drawing graphics, text-based graphics, character graphics. I could probably speed up the baud rate of transmission on the computer and the terminal to 9600 and this would look a lot better. <laughs> but you get the idea. So anyway, that's the VT-78. If you uh, happen to have discs for VT-78 lying around. I could use more discs. More programs would be a lot more fun on this. I'd love to get Fortran or, you know, um, ideally even like the uh, word processing system for this. So I could kind of show people how that works. So yeah, if you do have those programs and you want to reach out, let me know in the comments. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time it is where you are.